Hi everyone, I'm Lynette. I'm the Marketing Director at Liz Moran Associates and I'm here with Liz today and we are going to talk about release contracts. So Liz, I heard you say in sales meeting last month that release contracts are up 300% this year over last year. That's right. 300%, that's the actual number. 300% wow. and it actually may be a little bit higher in April than it was in March. Wow. That's the stat that nobody's talking about right. and it's the untold story and it's a big deal for both sellers and buyers. Right. Wow. Okay. So why? Why are so many contracts releasing? I think the simple reason for that is just the dynamics in the market right now. Okay. There is so little inventory and so many buyers that that's creating a situation where most of the time we have multiple offers. Mm -hmm. And multiple offers will frequently end up in a bidding war right. where a buyer ends up paying over asking price. Mm -hmm. And they really want the house, they're all about it when the right. negotiation is taking place, but then after they sleep on it, buyer's remorse sets in. And so what's happening a lot is a couple of days after that contract is mm -hmm. accepted, the buyer decides they've paid too much gotcha. and they're figuring out a way to get out of the contract. Gotcha. Okay. So if that's the case, then what suggestions do you have for that not to happen? So that's a great question. And um, that's a perfect segue for me to give a plug <laughs> for why this market, in this market, more than a normal balanced market, having the right agent makes all the difference. Right. Because for a seller, it isn't just about choosing the highest offer, right. it's about choosing the right offer. Mm -hmm. And that takes an agent who really knows what they're looking for. Right. Um, we had an agent in the Williamsburg office this past weekend had 18 offers. 18? On one of their wow. listings. And so, taking the time to sort through all of those and really right. do your due diligence for example, if a buyer has offered way over sales price, mm -hmm. we need to be thinking, is this house gonna appraise? Right. And if it's not gonna appraise, does the buyer have the cash to pay the difference? Mm -hmm. So those are the sorts of holes that you've gotta to plug to right. make sure that you don't have a release. In this market, we have a lot of buyers who are buying what we call sight unseen, mm -hmm. which means they don't have time to get here okay. because the houses right. are going under contract so quickly if they're from out of the area. So they'll just put an offer on a property that without they've not seeing actually it. looked at. Okay. That's wow. right. And that's another thing that's right. adding to releases because then they get here and they don't like, you know, something about the house that right. they couldn't see in the pictures. Right. So there's just a lot of due diligence that a listing agent has to do to protect the seller. Right. And on the buy side, um, Interestingly, that actually creates a strategy that I think works for a lot of buyers, mm -hmm. which is to go in and position yourself as the backup offer. Ah, so yeah. when that first offer falls out and the odds of that are pretty good, right. then right. you just slip into a backup or primary position at that point. Right. Right. And you don't have to deal with multiple offers or a bidding. Right. Okay. Interesting strategy. <laughs> yeah, we have learned a lot. We have learned a lot in this market. Well, it certainly sounds like whether you're on the buyer side or the seller side, having a good agent is crucial, um, which we have got great agents here at Liz Moore and Associates. So if you are thinking about buying or selling, it's really important that you have a great experienced agent. So you can shoot us an email, info at lizmore.com. You can send us a message. We will put you in touch with an agent in your market and help you either get that house sold or get your contract accepted. There you go. All right, thanks.